EBT is changing for the low income. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video. So let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I wanna share with you some new information circling around out there and what I've seen in the headlines as of recently in regards to your EBT card and some major changes they wanna implement as of recently. So let's get into it and talk about the details and how this is going to impact about 43 million beneficiaries all across the country who receive SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps and who have an EBT card. Let's get right into it. However, really quickly before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and I'm here for you right by your side each and every day watching all the latest information, hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can see what's actually going on out there and how it may impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account and of course anything popping up right now we can possibly grab and or take advantage of during this very busy, confusing, and uncertain time that we're currently living through. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And let's get into it and talk about what they're now talking about in regards to EBT and some major changes they want to make to these cards that affect about 43 million beneficiaries, like I said just a minute ago. All right, so let's talk through the details about this. So maybe you've seen my videos here on the channel where I've talked about as of recently, as in in the bill that was passed last year at the end of last year, the $1.7 trillion package, there was a provision within there that basically protects EBT card holders, well, we would hope that it protects them anyway, in the event that your benefits are wrongly taken from you from one of these little skimming devices uh, placed on the kiosks at the checkout counters. Well, as a result of that, what's happening here is that these EBT cards do not necessarily have all of the protective measures in them, like a credit card or a debit card, things like that, preventing people from essentially taking your benefits. Well, as a result of that, they're now talking about implementing some major security changes to the EBT card. So as you probably know, with your EBT card, you know, it doesn't really have the protections. Previously, prior to this provision coming in in this bill just a few months ago at the end of last year, 2022, Prior to that, if your benefits were taken from you wrongly, as in one of these little skimming devices was on a little kiosk and your benefits were basically extrapolated off of your card without you uh, you know, authorizing it, somebody just took those benefits from you, there was literally nothing that could be done about it, right? Well, as a result of that bill that was passed late last year, they had that going back retroactively all the way back to October, uh, sorry, October 1st of 2022, where essentially if your benefits are wrongly taken from you, you could essentially file with your local office and get those benefits back, or at least a portion of them back, again, if they were skimmed off of your car. Well, now there's a lot of talk about there right now, essentially saying, well, why are we even allowing this in the first place? We should add additional security measures onto the EBT card so that nobody has to deal with this, right? Just like a credit card or a debit card, right? If something happens there, if there's any type of activity that is not you and it looks a little bit suspicious, you basically make a phone call and the bank handles it, right? Well, in the event of an EBT card, unfortunately, you call your local office and they're like, sorry, there's not a whole lot we can do until recently where now you can start getting those some of those benefits back, you know, in some cases. Now, again, are you going to always get your benefits back in the event that they're wrongly taken? Well, we would hope that you do, but in many situations, that may not be the case. They may only be able to give back a portion of them, or in some instances, they might not be able to prove that your benefits were wrongly taken. And again, you might be out of luck again, which is also uh, bringing up the fact why many people are wondering, why is this even an option in the first place? Why do these cards not have better security measures in them? So... Now what I'm seeing out there circling around is as a result of these recent changes, they're saying, hey, why don't we just redesign the entire EBT card as in the card that holds your SNAP benefits? Now here's the thing. We all call it an EBT card, right? It's an electronic balance transfer card. But across the entire country, your state might have its own uh, name for its own card, right? Because across, across the entire country, here's what happens. SNAP benefits and food stamps are a program that is federally funded, but is administered on the state by state level. Each state might have the own little name for their card, but generally across the board, we call it EBT, right? That's basically what they're called, um, like, you know, the whole, idea behind the card, but then again, it might have an own individual state name. But either way, it's all an EBT, Electronic Balance for Transfer card, and that is where your SNAP benefits are load, uh, loaded onto each and every month. Now, obviously, you know that, right? 
But here's the thing. They're talking about over the next couple of years here. Now, again, this is not something that's going to roll out tomorrow or next week or next month. They're saying within the next two years, again, why is it taking so long for something like this to happen? Does anybody ever wonder that? A lot of times when they want to come forward with some of these, you know, different changes, things like this, they're like, within the next decade. It's like, really? In the next decade? Are you kidding me? Um, that's a long time to wait, you know? Don't get me wrong. Time goes very fast, but still, it's 10 years, okay? But here's what they're talking about with this. They want to implement some security measures onto the EBT card and start rolling out this new design sometime within the next two years. Now, could it possibly be sooner? Well, hopefully. Um, will it be sooner? We don't know that. Will it be beyond the two-year uh, mark? Again, could be something like that. And this will be across the entire country, according to what I'm reading on this, okay? Now, is this going to impact your SNAP benefits or your food stamps that you receive every single month? According to what I'm reading on this, no. It shouldn't impact how much you're getting as far as getting more, getting less, anything like that, but rather it'll protect you in the event that your benefits are, you know, wrongly taken through one of these little skimming devices on the kiosks at the checkout counter. Uh, in the event that, that's, that that happens, it would prevent these people from actually having access to your card or making it a little more difficult for them to actually skim the card and basically take the benefits, right? Again, super sad situation. It is ridiculous that they were even having this conversation in the first place, but this is the world that we live in now, and this is unfortunately happening to a lot of people out there. And again, we, I continue to see the stories out there as I do this research and I come across this information. I see these stories out there where somebody, you know, goes to the grocery store. They're, you know, filling up their cart. They're getting all the things that they need for the week or the next two weeks or whatever, the next few days here for themselves or their family or them and their spouse or whatever it happens to be. The stories go on and on. They show up at the, ch uh, the checkout counter. They run all the stuff through the scanner, whatever. It's all checked out. Time to pay. They put their card in and it says no balance. No balance. I just got my money a couple days ago. I, I don't know how there's not a balance on here. What happened to it? Oh, yeah, somebody took all of it because I just got paid. Um, my benefits, you know, my card was skimmed a couple weeks ago or a couple weeks, uh, a couple days ago. And now here we are. We got paid and they took my benefits right away. Awesome. Now what am I going to do, right? Yeah, unfortunately, that's the situation that is happening to a lot of people out there. I, I've read a lot of stories about this as I've done this research. And unfortunately, this is the reality of what's going on. So now these people are suggesting, why don't we just make the card a little bit more secure? Wow, that's a great idea. I mean, <laughs> we've got some geniuses up upon us here. We've got some people out there who are uh, coming up with some great ideas here to make this card more secure. Well, yeah, why wasn't this card more secure in the first place, right? So now we're in a situation where in the event the benefits are taken, now you've got to jump through a bunch of hoops, get in contact with your local office, telling them the situation. They're probably going to have some kind of investigation into your account and figure out what's going on here, where it happened, when it happened, uh, who possibly could have done this, all kinds of things like this, and then possibly reinstating the benefits to what were taken or a portion of them. And again, a lot of steps there. Meanwhile, you're probably thinking, hey, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm a little hungry right now. Could we possibly get a little bit of funding here to get me by for the next few days until we can get a solution on this? And again, this is just a drawn out process, something that's going on out there. But, you know, just like credit cards and debit cards, don't get me wrong. Identities are taken all the time. Information is taken all the time. But at least they have those security measures that in the event something like that happens, there's really not a lapse in benefits and there's not really money that's you know missing for like days or weeks on end. It's basically say, okay, we've got it handled. We'll get it fixed up for you. And again, you know, we'll take the necessary steps. So that's basically what they want to do here is add additional security measures into the EBT cards all across the country. So they're more secure for the 43 million people who rely on them and who have their benefits loaded onto them every single month and use that money for their essential grocery needs and things like that. So anyway, some interesting changes here, but again, it's sad that we have to live in this world, but this is the uh, the fact of the matter. This is what we're living through right now. This is what's going on. And unless they do something about it, it's just going to continue happening. There's no reason that anything would stop unless they actually make the, the necessary security measures to actually make, make sure that these cards are more secure for the people that actually hold them and make sure that those benefits are secured or actually in the event that they're taken, then, you know, reinstated as quickly as possible so those beneficiaries can use those benefits for what they really need which is the food and the different things like that. So weird stuff right now, right? Anyway, 
I just want to bring this to your attention. This is what I'm reading about. This is what I've seen out there in the headlines. Of course, I'll continue watching this one very closely. As I get any more details or anything like that going on out there, of course, anytime that this may be implemented at some point in the future, whether it's in the next few months, the next year, next two years, whatever they decide to do on this, of course, I will bring that to your attention right away. But it looks like something they want to roll out, not only across each individual state, but across the entire country. So this is all encompassing, right? So Anyway, hope this uh, helps you out a little bit. Also, make sure to check out that link down below in the description or at the top of the comment section that I have pinned there for a free 14-day trial. Again, this is with the sponsor here on the channel, Aura, so you can see how much of your personal information is exposed out there on the dark web and who may have that information and how to extract all that information so you can get it off of the dark web and make sure that information is protected because, again, there's more people out there just trying to grab information and have, you know, bad intentions. It's not a good situation. So anyway, totally free 14-day trial. I recently signed up with that and honestly, couldn't believe how much my information was exposed out there. Not a fan. Want to get rid of that as quickly as possible. So totally free 14-day trial. Feel free to check it out down below if you want to. In the description or at the top of the comment section, there's a link there. If you don't want to, that's totally fine too. No problem at all. Just a sponsor here on the channel. And again, just uh, doing what we can here to keep your information private and again, protected at the same time. So please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Stay safe out there. Take care. And again, I'll catch you again later in the next video.